What's going on? Unnerving McCants, Profile Performance, Coach McCants, whatever you want to call me. Um, what's on the mind of McCants? This week, selfish parents and coaches. This is for you people. Selfish parents and coaches. The atmosphere that I am in, it seems to be that everybody has the answer. And I'm pretty sure it's like that around the country. But you're trying to dictate and determine someone else's life. All right. Let me tell you. Start over. Where is driving from? Where's the ride from? I keep running into kid after kid. And hearing about coach after coach about playing one sport. Okay. Why not play one sport? Or why play multiple sports? From my experience, from my life, this is how I feel. Especially in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. You can ask other scouts. I've talked to scouts. This area is known for having high skill level athletes. Ask when they want a, a athlete that can play multiple positions in any sport, they come to this area to recruit because generally we play three sports, we have three seasons. So that being said, you're being selfish in telling a child to play only one sport. You never know what that child is capable of doing or even have a passion for. Now, let's go to me, Darnarian McCants. Football, basketball, track. Love basketball. Played football. Track was cool. Love basketball so much that I knew at some point I had to let it go. Just due to the fact at six feet, hmm, it's unlikely that I'm going to go and play, you know, at a high level. Just due to the fact, the skill set that I had. Coming out of high school, I was six feet, 190 pounds. So, pretty big kid, 17 years old. But, I lacked certain skills. Now, where could those skills have landed me? Hmm, don't know. But, a six foot, 190 pound wide receiver? Now, that's, that's a difference. That's considered a big receiver. Now, at the end of the day, I ended up being six four in 210, 215 at wide receiver. That's a big receiver. So my life, what happened to me was, okay, either keep fighting to play basketball, keep fighting to play basketball, go where I wanted to go, um, you know, try to get into this school, try to get in that school, and the skill set wasn't there. Coaches didn't see it. I didn't have enough on film. But football, whole different element. Well, we can teach you. He can catch the ball. We can teach you how to run, play offense. We can teach you how to run a route. Track. I worked hard at it. But at no point in time did one coach tell me, you should only play this sport. I think it's selfish for coaches to put parents and parents to put their children in a predicament where they might not even like. You're trying to dictate and determine somebody's life. If I don't say, you know, my stepdad came to me and was like, hey, well, this team, we, we could go here and probably get a scholarship because you would be considered a big wide receiver. Lo and behold, I did. Lo and behold, hey, I went to the pros. I made a good amount of money. Now, will your child make it to the pros? That's something else. That's opportunity and timing and all the other stuff that goes with going to the next level after college. But what I try to preach is get your child into college first. Don't spend the money. Get a free scholarship, get a partial scholarship, get some kind of money if your child is a, a, a pretty good athlete. And it don't have to be D1. I was D1AA. Me at Delaware State University. I still went to a pro level because if you're balling, they will find you. Trust me. They will find you if you're putting up numbers. Okay, so in my opinion, you know, coaches, especially coaches, parents, they're your children. You're going to do what you want with them anyway. But let the child be free to do what they have a passion for and just support that passion. You never know what that child is going to become if you're not supportive of it. Um, it's always a question being raised, which one is better, charter school, private school, or public school? 
out of all those stats, you paying all this money, what I've read and what I've seen, the supportive parents on all three levels are had the most successful children in sports and in academics. So if you're supporting your child in academics, if you're supporting your child in sports, they're going to be successful. Why? Because they have the passion behind it. They have the support behind it. But if you're being put in a forced position, eventually, ah, oh, well, he, he burned out. No, you put him in a bad position. They got in a position where as a child it was no longer fun. So you wonder why kids burn out or they don't want to play because you're forcing them to do something that they don't want to do. They don't have a love for I never forget third grade Miss Lopez said, always do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And I've stuck to it since the third grade. I played basketball up until college. They said free money, I said free education. Thank you very much. So I played football. The hard work I put in all, all the time of trying to be a good athlete and be the best I could be rolled me over into a professional game. I got paid for five years at a very good salary. Thank you, Washington Redskins and Philadelphia Eagles. Appreciate it, Coach Harbs, for the opportunity in Baltimore. So stop being selfish. Give your kids the opportunity to do what they love, to do what, do what their passion is. It's their life. You can't dictate it because once they get on their own, they will be on their own. And then you have that, uh, that, 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 that little, um, if I would have did this, or if my mother wouldn't have did this, or my dad would have pushed me here, I would, you know, some kids need a push. But generally, most kids, most people after the age 12 kind of know and have an idea of what they want to do with their lives and which direction or which sport they want to go. Things will change because life changes. You start to mature. You start to see life differently. The effects and the events around you and your environment will change. I started off, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Then I wanted to be an architect. When I got to school, you know, it changed again. I'm like, uh, education. I want to be able to teach because that's what's missing. So now, that's what I do with Pro Pie Performance. But you parents and coaches. And then for you parents, don't let a coach put you in a, a press position. Because what you're understanding, what you, what you got to understand is, just because they're a child doesn't mean they're not human. I was put in a press position and I didn't know it um, because I didn't have any support. I didn't have a background. So at 4.30 in the morning, I'm on the football field. By 3 o'clock, I'm on the track. This is in the same day. So what am I supposed to study? This is in college, of course. So now they're taking that same pressure and then applying it in high school. If your child gets hurt, guess what they're going to do? They're going to move on. So now he's out of not one sport, but two sports. The coaches are coming. It's, oh, well, he needs to be blaring this and, you know, that's messing up his chances. So what? I believe in something that is, you know, there's a plan and a purpose. That's just my beliefs. There's a plan and a purpose in everything that happens. But don't let these coaches put you in a position of saying, okay, well, if your child doesn't come out, you know, he's playing football, okay, but he needs to come to skills training for this. No. Because that's too much pressure on the body. Because all it's going to take is wear it down, wear it down, wear it down, wear it down, wear it down. One injury, now he's down for six to how many other weeks? Now you got to restart, play the sport he's playing, heal up, and then get back to trying to do the next sport. That's way too much pressure. Way too much pressure. Let them play. Let them have fun. Let them do what they have a passion for. And you will see a better result out of your child. And if they truly want it, nothing can stop a person but this person. Opportunity will come. If you keep pressing forward on whatever your passion and love is. So that's my word for the day. That's what's on the mind of McCants. Stop pressing these kids, man. Let them, let them play. Because once they get to college, it's going to be more serious. Once they, if they make it to the pros, it's all business. All right. So I say any questions, any concerns, and if you want me to elaborate more, uh, leave me a little comment, email me, ProPod Performance. Uh, you're looking for training, speed, agility, quickness, performance. That's what I do all day, every day. All right, Coach McCants, that's what's on my mind. Talk to you.